The third stage of disloyalty is the passive state. The what? The, the person becomes passive. It becomes what? Passive. Passivity sets in. After being offended by one thing or the other, people become passive. When a person is in the, pass in the passive stage of disloyalty process, he does not involve himself in much. He doesn't. He sits and watches unconcerned, uninvolved. And uh, as a leader, it is very good to look out in the congregation for those who are indifferent. Those who appear to be very unconcerned. They don't care. You are in service like this. A child is crying. They will just sit down. The child can disturb for all they care. As long as they are concerned. I'm not the mother. I'm not the usher. <laughs> you understand my point here? I'm not the mother. I'm not the usher. Anybody can take that child out. But not me. You know that can. Meanwhile, this same person used to be very, very what? Active. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. You know? They are, they are potential deserters of the sheep. They will desert the sheep. And they will walk away. Wash out for uninvolved members. Wash out. Wash out. As a leader in Mission House, look out. Be careful. Don't allow this spirit to enter into you. The spirit of passivity. Being passive. For instance, I consider members to be passive if they are not involved in prayer meetings, weekly activities. You get my point? They come just Sunday, and when they come, they just sit down far away. I know somebody like that. You just sit far away at the back of the church. Even when I say, come, 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 come to the front, we say, oh, sorry, sir. Oh, sorry, sir. Oh, sorry, sir. You know, oh, sorry, sir. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm like, hey, look, this is a family. This is the family of God. Come on, loosen up. Let's be free in the house of God. If it's your first time of coming, we understand. If it's your second time, you are still adjusting. If it's your third time, you are a family member. Are we together now? Praise the Lord, somebody. If all businessmen, for example, were to be called for a meeting, he is likely not to attend, even though he's a businessman. Do you get what I mean now? Passivity. Passivity. And if you check it very well, these people, some of those people, they are hurting. Somebody have hurted them. Something may have hurt them in the recent past. They say things like this. I don't want any more trouble in this church. Let me just keep to myself. You understand that kind of a thing? Ah, I don't know what I will say now. And I will be the topic of the message tomorrow. Ah, let me mind my business. Have, have, have you had things like that before? I better go. I don't want problem. I don't want problem. Later, they will say I'm the one that want to overthrow pastor. Later, they would say I'm the one that I am taking the microphone all the time. The, I, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I, I'm not that kind of person. Relax. <laughs> you are an offended person who is now passive. It's a passive stage. But this stage is very dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. If you are in any church, if you are in any place, it's a very, very dangerous stage. Please, can you put up Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 10? We are looking at stages of disloyalty, and today we are looking at the passive state. I want us to look at something very important. Jeremiah 48, verse 10. Jeremiah 48, verse 10. Before the project, you can open your Bible and let's do that. Okay, let's read it together. One to go. Cause be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, and cause be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. Bible. <laughs> I'm telling you that the word of God is complete. So you can see from the above scripture, God expects you to get involved. God expects us to do what? God expects you to contribute. You have something. You have something to pitch in. There is something you have to put, to add. There is a counsel. There is an advice. There is an, there is an idea. There is a suggestion in your heart. If you are in the church, something is going on, and you know there is something that we can do to make this thing better, why don't you talk? 
Why don't you talk? You wait until everything is no longer working so that it will be say, oh, well, when everything fell apart and the center couldn't hold, then I, uh, myself as the James Bond, I brought out the idea that won the day. You don't need all those kind of attempts. Just say it so that we preserve the family. We preserve the work of God. Praise the Lord, somebody. Look, if you go outside and you see something good in somebody's house that is working for them, and you come back to your house, that thing is not working in your house. Is it a crime for you to copy it and bring it to your house? It's not a crime. See good thing and carry it. See bad thing and leave it. <laughs> Are we together? Hey, hey, copy good thing. You see a man and his wife, they are lovey, 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 lovey. You say, hey, they are just deceiving. Oh, boy. Oh, God, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Look, see, is it a bad thing for husband and wife to be doing lovey, 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 lovey? No. Copy your, do your own like that. When you start calling, you, you are calling your husband, uh, uh, Mama Delight. Mommy delight, mommy delight, I'm, I'm, take time in this house. Mommy delight, take time in this house. Okay. And you go outside, you see somebody say, honey, darling, sweetie. Okay. You come to your house. Can't you copy that thing? When you see they were calling, the, the, the man was calling the wife that, honey, honey, sweetie. Can't you see that the woman was happy? You do the same thing. The first time you will call honey, Mama, de, mommy delight, you say, hmm, hmm. Hey. <laughs> Uh, something, something there is. The, are we safe? <laughs> are we safe? <laughs> we soup did I cook today that is causing this kind of thing now? <laughs> Don't worry. We keep doing it. She will get used to it one day. Copy good things. It's not a crime. Somebody say, ah, that thing that they are saying in that church, this was the church that started it. Who cares who started it? It is something good. I copy it. There's one thing I, I, I have been practicing. I want to copy it from the Catholic church. I want to copy it. And that is time. Time. Jesus Christ, those people know time. My God. You, there is no how the anointing is using that priest. Mass we finish when mass we finish. Oh. Don't come and tell me another thing. Since I'm copying them, I will stop here now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I want to copy and copy well. Bow down your heads. There's no need to be passive. It is time for us to be active in the house of God. Don't allow, don't allow things to spoil under your, under your wash. No now. No, 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 no. If it is not working, why not? Check it. Try something. Do something in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Begin to pray. Lord God, I receive the spirit to be, to, be, to be a part of your work. To be a part of what you are doing. In the name of Jesus. Any way, any how I can do, I can support. Do the best of my ability. I want to do it. I want to do it in this department. Uh, yeah, I know people will say, eh, you, are, you are carrying this in your head too much. You are no problem. I will try. I will give myself. I will do my best. I'm not doing it for them. I am doing it for God. You are not doing that thing for man. You are doing it for God. Oh, Lord, have your way. In the name of Jesus.